This is one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> it's such a strange story. I've told it on YouTube before. The video's private now because I wanted to refilm it. I missed some things out so I want to go into more detail and tell the story again to the people that haven't heard it and to the people that have heard it before and want to hear it again because it's nuts. This is the story of my creepy neighbour. Just wait. <laughs> God. So I live in an estate. It's kind of a decent sized estate. Like there's different types of houses. Like there's we're a semi-detached. There's detached houses. There's smaller ones. There's bigger ones. There's semis down there. Like it's just all different houses dotted about. But I have a next door neighbour here that's joined on to us, and he's alright. And then next to him, kind of diagonally across from me, there's another couple. And then next to them now live another couple. But back when this story happened. There was a man who lived in that house, diagonally opposite me, and he lived with his partner and a dog. And then his partner and the dog moved out, I don't know what happened, but something happened. And they moved out, and he was alone. Lonely man. He was kind of a plain looking guy. He sort of reminded me of Snape, for some reason, from Harry Potter. Like, he sort of had that kind of face, but he also looked really plain at the same time. Dark, dark hair. Steady man, average height, you know, slim, just a normal looking dude, right? I don't know how to explain him other than he reminded me of Snape. Before his partner left, like when they lived in there all together, I didn't really hear from him, didn't speak to him, didn't really know him. Just, you would know me say hi to, you know, you wouldn't, like, it was never someone that I would strike up a conversation with or anything. Plus this story happened when I was 15, so that was 15 years ago. Before I get into what he did, if you're new to my channel, I'm Erin. I make videos about Scotland, the outdoors, life, periods, sometimes mental health, sometimes creepy things. Over 70% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, click subscribe. I would appreciate it. And if you enjoy this content, then give it a thumbs up. This is one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me. Aside from my catfish story, which if you've not seen that, oh my god, that's... Oh, it should be a film, honestly. Go and watch that video if you've not seen it. It's mad. But that story is a whole other kettle of fish. Kettle of catfish. <laughs> anyway, as I said, this, this story happened when I was 15-ish, maybe younger, but I think I was, you know, mid-teens. And I used to walk, we used to have a wee dog called Max, and I used to walk him to the bottom of the hill, let him pee in the grass, and walk him back up. So I was just a wee innocent 15 year old schoolgirl, like really, in I was very innocent back then. I never used to swear at anything. Eventually I started noticing this man watching me, Snape. Sometimes I'd notice him watching me from inside his house, like through the window. Sometimes he would be standing at the side of his house watching me and I wouldn't notice until, like I wouldn't be able to see him because it would be dark. And all I would hear is, hi from the side of the house and I would turn around and he would just be standing there at the side of the house. Weird. Like that's not creepy at all. Just picture like Snape lurking in the dark like, hey, no. yeah. He didn't talk like that but, you know. So you just picture 15 year old wee schoolgirl me walking the dog innocently past this house and then I just see this man lurking in the dark. It, bizarre. I couldn't see anything, I couldn't see him but I would just hear his voice and I would look and you would see like the outline of a man in the dark. This should be a horror film actually. So this happened for a while, it kind of freaked me out but I would always make excuses for him like oh he's probably just having a smoke at the side of his house or like whatever you know, he's probably just doing this. But it was quite weird. Yeah there's really like no excuse to be creeping on a teenage girl. <laughs> like even in that situation, surely you would be like right I won't stand and stare at her from the side of my house because it will probably freak her out. Even these days, even at this age, that would freak me out. Never mind when I was 15, anyway. Occasionally he would strike up conversation eventually, but nothing really usually more than a hello. And one time, this was weird, it was near Christmas. Again, I was walking the dog down the bottom of the hill and I could hear him following me down the hill to give me a Christmas card. What? And I was thinking, right, you live diagonally opposite me. Couldn't you have just posted it through the door? Plus, it wasn't even just addressed to solely me, it was addressed to the family. So why why did you have to follow me down the hill in the dark to give me this Christmas card when you could have posted it through the door and it would have been quicker and easier? Right? With me? So obviously he just wanted an excuse to talk to me. That's all I'm getting from that really. He was a quiet man that would normally keep himself to himself, 
but he would sometimes talk to the man who lives next door to us, which isn't a surprise because he would talk to a brick wall, like he's dead chatty. So he would sometimes talk to him and they seemed to get on quite well. Like I didn't see anything weird or, you know, he didn't seem strange. The guy next door never said anything about him being weird or whatever. So they seemed to get on all right. And then one time me and my mum were driving past his house and <laughs> my mum, like he had his curtains wide open and you could see in his living room and the telly was sort of diagonally facing the window so you could see what was on the screen. My mum just goes, what's he watching on the telly? And I looked round <laughs> and you could just see like boobs and nakedness. And my mum was like, is he watching porn? And I was like, he's watching porn. <laughs> like for everyone to see, like anyone could walk by and he's just blatantly sitting like watching porn on his big telly facing the window. Like, okay. I mean, I'm not judging, he can watch what he wants, but it was just a bit, you know, it's a lot for, it's a quiet wee street, right? And you just walk by and you see someone watching porn. It was just a bit strange. Another time, again, I was out walking the dog. I brought the dog back and he was, Snape was standing next door talking to my next door neighbour. And my dog just went mental. It just started barking at him and growling at him. And my dog never, it used to do it to other dogs, but not to people. And uh, I was like, okay, calm down. But the dog was just barking at him like mad. You know when they say that dogs can sense something's not right? about someone. Well, that's what I feel was happening in this situation. <laughs> he was just barking and barking and barking and was being quite vicious towards him. The man turned around and said, hmm, maybe he can smell some meat. I'm sorry, what? Creepy. What does that even mean? Like, what meat is he referring to? I don't want to know. <laughs> but that, that made me like, ugh. And then another time, and this is one of the ones I left out the last video by accident, and I couldn't believe I'd left it out because it was so weird. He, again, came out of his house when I was walking the dog in the dark. Maybe he's a vampire, anyway. He gave me this big bundle of plastic bags. He was like, I saved these up for you because I know you use them a lot. And obviously he meant like when I pick up the dog's poo or whatever. But I was like, what? Why? What? So I was like, oh, I've got plenty, thanks. And I just like left them. But I was like, why would you save them up for me? It was just, fair enough if I knew him and like, Somebody was like, oh, I've got all these plastic bags, if you want them, I'm not going to use them. But it was the fact he was like, I've saved these up for you, <laughs> you know? It's just weird. It's like the worst excuse to talk to someone, like, how can I talk to her? Oh, I'll pretend I've saved up plastic bags for her. Like, what? He also, one time, my dad told me he watched my dad put, like, something on his car or his tyres or something. I'm not sure what my dad was doing. But the guy, instead of saying hi or, like, striking up conversation, he just went, that doesn't work, by the way. And my dad said it was just a bit rude and just abrupt and just kind of weird and unnecessary, you know? So that was a, a bit strange, but... And then this is the creepiest thing that happened, aside from him watching me from the side of his house. This is the one thing that happened that was like, right, this is the last straw. Although I do have a vague memory of him watching me from his car once, but I can't remember where that was or I think it was like at the bottom of the hill or something, but I can't remember if I made that up or if that actually happened, you know? because um, it's so big in my head, but I have that memory. The creepiest thing, right? Wait to hear this. Again, I was walking the dog. I was walking him back up the hill, in the dark again. The guy comes out and he's like, hi. Said hi back. And then he says, would you ever want to go shooting sometime? And I said, shooting, not shit, by the way. And I was so taken aback that I went, shooting? And he went, yeah. And I was like, no. And then he said, well, what about fishing? And I'm like, I was just so taken aback that this 50 odd year old guy was asking me to do these bizarre activities with him that you don't really hear about. Like fishing, yeah, people would go fishing, but nobody really goes shooting around here or like hunting or whatever. And he was like, so you don't want to go hunting? And I was like, no, but I was being polite. You know, I was like, no, but inside I was like, what the hell? Why are you asking a 15 year old girl to go shooting with you? No. And then because I was saying no, he seemed to get a little bit irritated and he was like, well, what do you do anyway? What do you do all day? Study? And I went, uh, and I panicked because I was like, I just weirded out and I was like, oh, I just like see my friends and my boyfriend and stuff. And uh, then I can't really remember the rest of the conversation. So I guess it just ended, but I was so freaked out. He asked, a 50 odd year old guy asked a wee school girl to go, shooting with him. That's the weirdest thing ever. So I know you're all probably wondering why weren't the police involved? Why at this point did I not report him? Why did I not phone the police? And look, I was 15, right? I didn't 
I didn't tell anyone. I didn't want anyone involved. I didn't tell my parents because I didn't want my dad to go down to his door or whatever and start a conflict. We'd phoned the police previously uh, because funnily enough, right, I've witnessed two robberies. Well, I've witnessed one robbery when I was a child and then I witnessed an almost robbery when I was a teenager from my bedroom window. Like I see so much stuff from my bedroom window and this was in different places as well. But anyway, that's a whole other story and I do have a video about those. <laughs> which I'll put below. Like, the police were useless in those situations, so I think I probably had that in my head, like, oh, the police aren't going to do anything anyway. Plus, it would just cause this whole thing that I just didn't need. Obviously, nowadays, if anything like that was happening, I would 100% report it and tell someone, but back then, I didn't want any trouble. I was 15. I didn't, you know, I just didn't get anyone involved. And I should have, but I didn't, so that's that. But yeah, the guy moved away soon after and I never heard from him since. I didn't really hear much from him actually after he asked me to go out with him. <laughs> and I remember at the time telling my then boyfriend, so my wee 15 year old boyfriend at the time, when I was 15 that sounded weird, and I told him about what the guy had asked me and like all the stuff that had happened. And what he said freaked me the hell out because he said, so basically this guy was asking you to go to places and do activities with him where no one could hear you scream. But it gave me such a fright because I was like, oh my God, that's true. He wants me to go out in the wilderness with him or to a random loch in the middle of nowhere to go fishing. Yeah, like that's pretty much what that sounds like. So God knows what would have happened if I went with him. Like I wouldn't even want to think about it, but Jesus. And I, I was doing what I think, or what I know a lot of women do. And I was thinking, you know, I was making excuses for him. I was like, well, maybe it's innocent. Maybe there's nothing to it. Maybe he was just being friendly. But there's nothing innocent about asking a 15 year old girl to go shooting or hunting with you or whatever. Like there's nothing innocent about that at all. So obviously there was something going on there. Yeah, whenever my parents were away or stuff like that afterwards, I was like, I was paranoid. I was like, what if he's in the attic? Or what if he's put cameras around my house? Like um, in that film Alone With Her. Have you ever seen that film? That's a good film. But I was like, oh God. And I put a um, bit of paper over my webcam, which I still have over because I was like what if he's watching me through my webcam you know so that made me a little bit paranoid I was like he's gonna be in the house but he wasn't he ne well not that I know of I mean he might have been good at it and was hiding up in the attic and I didn't know but you know we're fine now so I if you're ever in a similar situation where a strange man asks you to go fishing with him just say no and report him tell someone because that's not okay see that was my creepy neighbour story I can't think if anything else happens during then but if I ever think of anything else I'll let you know but yeah, let me know what you thought of that story. If you ever had any similar creepy experiences, let me know. What's the weirdest neighbour that you've had? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I have a Patreon page if you're interested. You can get involved with that if you want. Yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.